An epic clash of Skaven clans is about to take place as Tanquo leads a host to take control of a city infested by a rival clan. Tanquo's forces lay siege to the city, bringing in three warp lightning cannons to bombard the rats hold up in the city. Powered up by a warlock engineer, the cannons unleash devastating bolts of warp lightning, but two of the cannons malfunction, dealing catastrophic damage to the artillery itself. The clan rats take cover within the walls of the city and avoid serious casualties during this first warp lightning bombardment. Meanwhile, a devious vermin lord deceiver is plotting a bolt strike into the heart of Tanquo's forces. As Egracia commands the clan rats to move towards the center objective, the city dwelling Skaven begin their counterattack. The vermin lord deceiver uses dreaded Skitalip to teleport within close proximity to Tanquo, throwing its massive doomstar at its foe. A vermin tide spawned by the Gracia swarms towards the warp lightning cannons, which are also assailed by a sneaky pack of gutter runners who fling torrents of deadly throwing stars at the cannon's crew. Tanquo's backline is assaulted by a unit of clown rats who burrow through the ground via a warp grinder, though to their dismay they find a doomway ready to crush them. With the warp lightning cannon battery crippled, the city dwellings Kevin enact a pincer movement on Tanquo's forces crashing into them from all sides as more forces pour through no holes to support the Vermin Lord Deceiver. Locked in combat, the Deceiver strikes first, but finds itself outmatched by the furious blows from Bone Reaper's warp fire braziers, and though Tanko sustains injuries, his warp stone amulet continuously heals the wounds suffered by the duo. Two doom wheels collide and grind to a halt as Tanko's clan rats pile in to join the fight. Clan rats from the city, supported by more gutter runners and rat swarms, prepare to leave the safety of the city. When with a sudden splitting of reality a warp no vermin lord appears, falling upon the hapless clan rats and cleaving them apart with its no -glave. Another of Tanko's clan rat units claw their way out of a no hole within the city, unleashing a rattling gun team that shreds the gray sea of the city. By this point much of the city's rats have been scattered and cut down, but the last living gutter runner makes a desperate charge and with its last breath manages to silence the enemy engineer before it is hacked apart by clan rats. Tanquo lets out a triumphant cry as he stands over the corpse of the vermin lord deceiver and his forces move forward to claim the city for themselves. The only defense that remains is a lone warp lightning cannon that was too poorly positioned to be of any use during the battle.